It's Saturday, 23rd of July, 1938. The annual Northwich Working Men's Saturday Hospital Committee, the forerunner of our present Northwich Carnival. But this time, the event is being filmed with a new technology by Cheshire County Cinemas Limited, who ran the Regal and the Plaza Cinemas. So, the cameras are lined up in front of the spectators, who rather nervously grin, unsure how to react. Some see more at ease with the cameras than others, as they come to grips with the new technology. So the spectators are lining the route from Northwich Station all the way to Greenbank. Even time for some late arrivals. This isn't the Trumpton Fire Brigade, this is in fact the Northwich Fire Brigade, making their way slowly through the town in the bullring. A wide variety of characters and groups assemble on their route to the ground at Greenbank. So we have some of the country's leading dance troops and dance bands from as far away as St Helens, Oldham and Flint, as well as school parties and characters. We'll see more of them later. Here outside the Talbot Hotel on the corner of Timber Lane, we see more spectators eagerly awaiting the arrival of the procession. Among the bands involved we have the Harris Head Jazz Band and the Weaverham 1938 Dinkies and the St George Prize Band from Liverpool as well as the Commodore Jazz Band from St Helens, the Barnton Silver Prize Band and the Surprise Jazz Band from Stratford. Here at the corner of Station Road and Victoria Road more crowds are assembled and the collecting tins are out. In fact, the crowds raised over £25 in the collecting boxes during the day. The Carnival King, Mr Garnet, whose arduous task it was to call round public houses in the vicinity and collect money in the weeks leading up to the gala. He managed to raise £5 over the £25 already collected. The dance troops are very happy in these pictures, although the local newspaper reports that they mutinied as soon as they appeared at the showground, staging a sit-in in protest against the judges. Happily all was resolved and they could leave in a short time. The local newspaper also reports that these elaborately garbed characters had come some 26 miles to take part in today's proceedings. But sadly at the showground they were shown to the wrong area of the pavilion and they missed out on the judging. But nobody minded, we're told. There were more than 200 children in costume at the event. Back at Victoria Road, we can see crowds lining the station bridge. Ashworth's Cafe in the background, and an old milk float as well. Returning to the bull ring were fancy dress prizes.
And here we have the Carnival Queen herself, Miss Florence Beresford from Castle, and she was the first to be selected by a committee. Another of the elaborately garbed characters we mentioned earlier. Obviously enjoying the good weather. The weather though had not been good in the days leading up to the fete. The field used at Green Bank, near the station and where Green Bank Estate was later built, had been under hay only a few days earlier and the Carnival Committee had to arrange the mowing and gathering, which was late due to bad weather. Here we have Mayor C.W. McCormack of Northwich Urban District Council preparing for the crowning ceremony. The flower girls including Beryl Foster and Margaret Stringer and Mrs Small, chaperoning Florence Beresford, to take her place on the stand. Young Peter de Chasse was the crown bearer. Here we see Miss Rini Franz Hayhurst, ready for the appointed hour. Miss Beresford, the Carnival Queen, was, we're told, wearing a dress of ivory satin trimmed with diamante and a medieval robe of crimson silk velvet trimmed with ermine and carrying a bouquet of crimson roses. Presents for the Queen included a barometer from colleagues at Lomas and Spencer and a canteen of cutlery from the Ladies' Committee. Other events at the showground included a harmonica band recital and a baby show, as well as all the fancy dress competitions. The Carnival King there, Mr Garnet, takes his bow. Here are some of the fancy dress competitors. We can see from the signs that these included Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. There's Colonel Franz Hayhurst, the local squire. And here's one of the characters we saw earlier in the bullring. Here we see Mr Walker from Runcorn, who won first prize for his battleship in the hand-drawn vehicle category. Ice cream and refreshments are on hand, but be careful what you do with your ice cream. You never know who or what might take it. event was the Bonnie Baby competition with 69 entries, judged by Dr Sinclair, Sister Dutton and Miss Hope of the County Nursing Association. Children up to the age of three were eligible.